Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make this polymer clay cactus. And one of you guys requested it, so I decided I'd like to do that because it sounded like fun. First, let's go over the colors you're going to need to make this cute little cactus. Um, you need some green clay, some pink clay, um, you can use red. This is going to be the, for the flowers, so you can choose whatever color you want, but I, I'm going to use pink this time. You're going to need um, a ball of brown clay. And finally, you're going to need to roll out um, two balls of maroon. Um, so you're going to need to have one big one and one small one. And I actually made maroon by mixing red and brown. So if you don't have maroon, you can just mix red and brown. First, we're going to start off by making the pot. You're going to take the bigger ball of maroon and set aside the smaller one and roll it into a ball. And then you're going to start rolling it into a fat snake, but you want to make sure that you roll the bottom out thinner than the top. There. So, we have our little pot. Now we're just going to attach the dirt. So, you're going to take your little brown piece of clay, and you're just going to take it, roll it, and then flatten it into a disc, I guess. So, just flatten it. And it doesn't matter if you get your fingerprints in it, because we are going to be texturing this anyway. So, you're just going to place that on the top of your pot, like so. And you can readjust the shape if it got distorted. So now you have that. And we're just going to take a toothbrush and start texturing the texture. Like so. If you can see that. And my camera's focusing now. So, now, we're going to just set that aside. And you're just going to want to take that smaller ball of maroon that um, I showed you earlier, and you're going to roll it into a thin snake. Well, not too thin. Um, and you're just going to want to flatten it. And I'm actually just going to flatten it with my fingers because I forgot to get my roller. So, yeah, but you probably are going to want to use a roller to get a pretty consistent thickness. But, yeah. So, once you've got in that thin, like, flattened out snake, you're just going to take your blade and you're going to chop off the top and bottom of the snake to get a pretty, like, straight snake, I guess. Like so. So now we have this. And this is going to be the rim of the pot. So, now, um, I'm just going to chop off the sides. I'm sorry if you can hear my like parents downstairs are watching football. Yeah, okay. So now we're just going to take that little thing and we're going to take our flattened snake and just wrap it around until the ends meet. And then you're just going to cut it off and blend out the seams. So I'll actually just take my thumb and blend it. Like so. Alrighty, so we have our little pot now. Okay, so next thing you're going to want to do is you're, you're going to want to move on to this. So I'm going to actually roll it out into a log, and you're going to want to cut um, one smaller and one larger. So you're not going to want to cut the ball in half. You're just going to want to cut it like so that one ball is bigger than the other. And now we're just going to roll out our small ball and you're just going to flatten it you don't want it to be too thin because then it won't stand up right so there is part of our cactus and now we're going to take the second ball and we're just going to flatten it as well and you want to make this one a little bit smaller than the other unless that one was your so I actually that was the same size, so I'm just going to take that, flatten it, and yeah, so you can kind of check to see if they fit together, and these ones do. Um, so now you have our two cactuses, and you're just going to place them on top to see if it fits. Yes, it does. Okay, so now we're going to texture the cactus. So I'm actually going to take an X-Acto knife, and I'm just going to create some uniform dots inside. Like so. 
and you are going to have to do the other side as well but I'm not going to do that just to save time you're, you're going to put these aside and make the flower so you're going to take your pink and roll it out into a log or you can take whatever color you want your flower to be your flower to be and we're just going to take it and you can hear my parents screaming downstairs they're watching football I don't know if I told you that already or not we're just going to divide it into four and you're just going to make a flower and this is pretty simple you can divide it into five however you want your flower to be um, so like this and you're just going to put them together so this is actually too big but you're just going to make a flower so um, to make that you just put the petals together like normal I don't know if you guys know how to make a flower already or not I'm just gonna flatten it and you're actually going to want to make it more like a tulip shape than a normal flower because you want this to stick up out of the um, thing out of the cactus so I'm actually going to take a little piece of green and put it in between like that so you can wrap the petals around I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but you can see so it looks like that and like that so now we have our flower and it's standing up I don't know if you can see that or not um, you need to take some TLS and um, if you don't know what TLS is it's just translucent liquid sculpty and we're just going to apply some onto the pot in the dirt and you're going to put some onto the bottom of the cactus and stick it on like so and don't worry this is going to dry clear and now we're going to take this other cactus and stick it on you can stick it on at an angle um, so it looks more like a real cactus so just press that on and now we're going to take our flower put a little bit of TLS and stick that on alrighty so now we have our little cactus and it doesn't like I said it doesn't matter if um, the TLS is showing because it is going to dry clear well uh, not dry but bake and turn clear so it doesn't really matter but yeah so now we have our finished cactus and you're just going to want to bake it alright guys so I have baked my cactus and um, I just um now you're just going to have to paint on the face. So the colors you are going to need are pink, white, and black. Uh, and you're going to need some sort of dotting tool. I just use an old pen because it's pretty easy to use. So first you're going to start off with black and paint on the eyes. And you're going to paint on the face. Hold the smile. Like so. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. There. And then we're going to put the little cheeks on. And finally the eye. Like the highlight. So you're just going to want onto the cactus. Again, you probably can't see that because the light is really bad. Like that, and then finally we're going to add the little light highlight in the eyes. And um, in the other cactus, I actually put two highlights in each eye. But for this one, I'm only going to put one, just because it's the eyes are not big enough. So this is the finished cactus, and it looks just like this. And um, yeah, so here are my two cactuses. You are going to want to glaze them and um yeah so that's that um i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and bye bye